This week, I had to drive myself to a doctor appointment and I forgot my wallet. And I was hungry and I had a couple of different <coughs> appointments. And so I knew I, I was planning to go out to lunch in between. I didn't have my wallet. Well, thank goodness I use the wallet on my phone. I can tap to pay. Then I noticed that my phone was dead. It had no charge. Luckily, I had a charging cable in the car. I was able to get it charged before lunchtime. What I want to show you is just in case you don't know how to use your phone as a wallet, I think it's a really important thing. Imagine if you got if you ran out of gas somewhere and you didn't have your credit card or any money with you, if you have your phone and you use the wallet, you're good to go. So on Google, on Android phones, it's called Google Wallet. Actually on Samsung, there is also a Samsung wallet, but I don't use that. I use the Google Wallet. It is this icon right here, the Google Colors and it's just called wallet. They are all just called wallet. But if you open it up, you can then add to wallet and you can add payment cards, loyalty cards, gift cards, IDs, all sorts of stuff. But the main thing I'm talking about is credit cards. You say, I want to add a credit card and a new credit card. Then what it does, it just, it opens up the camera. You have to put the credit card number in, in the camera. That's all you have to do. So you don't have to trust yourself to enter all the information. You just scan the back of the card and you're done. On iPhone, it's also called wallet. Here is wallet and you tap the plus to add a credit card. Now this one is interesting and I can show you because I can use a credit card without showing you all the number and everything. It has a chip on it, right? So I say, I want to add a debit or credit card and continue. And it just says, put the phone near the chip I just kind of tap the top to the chip. It says it's contacting the card issuer and it adds all the information. I would have to put in the security code, but that's it. That's how you add a credit card to your wallet. And then the way you use it, I have a little, a tiny little video here that if I play it, you will see the tapping in action, so. And it gives a very satisfying cha-ching sound so that you know that it worked. Now, people ask questions. Can a stranger pick up my phone and use the wallet? No, because you must be able to unlock that phone with your face or a fingerprint in order for the wallet to work. And Google Wallet, I've noticed just recently, even if you did unlock your phone, when you tap to pay, it asks you for that validation again. So no, a stranger cannot pick up your phone and use the wallet, as opposed to your credit card, right? If you happen to leave your credit card on the table, somebody could grab it, they use it, no problem. Second question, can a bad actor skim my credit card number from my phone wallet? Once again, the answer is no, but for two reasons. Number one, it does not transmit your actual credit card number. It uses a token that is linked to your credit card number, but only once the whole process gets back to your bank. Secondly, the physical card skimming is easier with, with a card because thieves can install devices on card readers to capture the magnetic strip or chip. With phone wallets, there's no physical card to insert, making skimming next to impossible. So using your phone as a wallet is much safer 
than using a, reg a real credit card.